it wouldn't be a Black Ops game without Nuketown. Nuketown is back, and today I've got some Combat Axe lineups that you guys could use in your own games when you get this map yourself. I've got three camper spots and three SD spots in this one, and keep in mind that you will need to be on 120 field of view in order for these lineups to work as they should be. So we're going to go ahead and start things off here with a spot that's going to take out anybody sitting top yellow in the window. When you know someone's up there, you can wedge yourself into this corner, and then you're going to pay attention to this bar on the building in the distance. You want to line up the top left corner of your top score streak panel with that bar as I do here. And then when you know the enemy's up there, just go ahead and toss that combat X and it will take him right out of that window. This next one's going to take out anybody sitting in the window top green. When you know someone's up there, you can wedge yourself into the corner that I backed into. And then you want to pay attention to these hedges here along with your compass. You want your compass to read west and line up the top edge of your second score streak panel with the top of the hedges like so. And then just go ahead and let that combat axe fly when you know someone's up there and it should take them right out of the window. Moving over to this Jeep. When you know someone's there, you're gonna head on over to back green and wedge yourself into the same corner we were in for the first spot. But this time you're gonna pay attention to this part of the fence right here. You're gonna line up the top score streak panel as I am doing here. Just go ahead and pause the video if you need a better look at it. But once you have that lined up and you know somebody's sitting by the Jeep, just go ahead and throw that combat X and it should pick them right off of it. Moving over to the S and D spots. I only have one for B because we all know how enclosed that bomb is. <laughs> but anyways, you wanna wedge yourself into this corner after you get that bomb down and line up the top tip of your combat axe cross here with the top of the chimney as such. And then you want to aim to your left until the compass reads 109. And after you do that and you know somebody's diffusing, just go ahead and throw that combat axe and it should take a nice little bounce off of the wall before getting the diffuser. Moving over to A, I've got two spots here. You want to plant where I did here for this first one. And then after you do that, you want to push up against these trash cans back green. Then aim straight up and make sure your compass reads 111. And after you do that, just go ahead and throw your combat axe when you know he's on the bomb, and it should take him right off of it. And finally, best for last, you want to plant as far back as you can on this spot here. And this is the return of a classic spot, if you know you know. But you want to wedge yourself into this corner and pay attention to these hedges. You want to line up your score street panels as I'm doing here. Like I said earlier, pause the video if you need to and then just throw when you know the enemy is diffusing. So that's it for Nuketown. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed and let me know what map you would like next. So that's it for me. Hope to get you guys in the next one. Peace out.